workshop special guest today, grandson, Anthony. He's coming in to make some, what are you making? Uh, plywood weapons. Weapons. There you go, so he can beat his brother up. There you go, good stuff. All right, so we're going to play with that. What are you making? A, a, a scythe, is it? Grim Reaper scythe. There you go. We're going to have a play around with that. And I'm going to have a go at some carving. I can't guarantee the results because I'm just playing with an idea for the front of the cabinet. Got to make a template for the cabinet. Got to rub something back, do a little bit of work on that and stain that bit. And I've got some box tops over there to clean up. So all in all, pretty full on day, I reckon. Hey, your Royal Highness, we missed you. We, we missed you. I hope you're all, all right. I started to get the worries. You might have ended up back in the hospital, which is not good. But great to have you in here. And yeah, Bobsy's not here. I don't know where he is. He, he will be back down here, I am sure. I think he's outside. You made it at the beginning. I was running late just for you, Panda. There you go. <laughs> I was, I came down there an hour up my sleeve and I started messing around and this, that and the other and there you go, time just <laughs> flies. Well, I watched uh, the new MasterChef thing last night, I, I really was over it, but seeing this is old people that have been, not old people, people that have been in previous series, it was quite interesting to watch and one of the comments was, You've got no idea how time goes so quickly in the MasterChef kitchen. Well, you've got no idea how time goes so quickly in here before I start streaming. There you go. Brian, good morning. G'day, Devon. How are ya? Ah, oh, dear. Ah, uh, ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum What can we do? Wombat, good morning. Ray, good morning. Trevor, g'day, mate. How are ya? Ah, oh, dear. Louise, good morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Most likely won't have Sue's sensational secret spontaneous sewing, sewn sayings today. You like that? <laughs> That's called onomatopoeia. I know. Or is it alliteration? I can't, I can't well, I can't, I don't know what I don't know how to spell. <laughs> exactly. I, I know how to spell trifle. <laughs> That's, yeah, I'm into you love that. Stuff. I do. Yeah, I've got to fight you for it. <laughs> That's it. Whoever gets the first one doesn't get the last one, I tell you. Yeah. He's a good lad. Ah, where are you? Good. Races, good day, young Anthony. Hello. That's it. And, and, and Prunella says, hi, kiddo. Chatman. Well, that, that's what you call it. Your, 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 your um, online name is Chatman. A very good morning to you too, Maxwell. <clears throat> oh, hang on. What did Prunella did? Hi, T-Bone. You snuck in there. Good morning, Mike. Hey, I was thinking, Mike, you asked me the other day what the the least impressive tool that the biggest waste of money I ever bought. I, I thought of it this morning. It was a <coughs> chisel mortiser um, for cutting mortises. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not saying they're bad machines. This particular one was. It was disgusting. <coughs> it was, um, doesn't matter what brand it was. But, uh, yeah, it was hopeless because every time you put the chisel in and do a square cut, when you pull it out, the hole down would come out and everything would lift up. It was disastrous. I've used jet ones. They're brilliant. I've used Watkin ones. They're good. I've used chain mortises. They're good. But this was just a cheap $300 um, mortiser from one of the woodworking shops up here. And, yeah, it was rubbish. So that would be the biggest waste of money I think I've ever spent on a tool. <clears throat> I've got to hang on, I've got to go back to what was no good for, for Prunella. <laughs> Wombat says, Good day, young fella. I guess that's, that's you. Oh, yeah, there you go. I missed that. No, you poor thing. Are you still in hospital or, or have you escaped for the stream? You had some essential things to do. Ian says, hi, Stephen Anthony. Hello. I do, I, I do a teenage impression be excited. Hello. <laughs> 
on it. Just said he went and got all that chocolate in at Easter. He was he was excited then. Look about the energizer bunny. <laughs> G'day Lucas, how are you, mate? I promise we will not corrupt the anger too late. He's gone. He corrupts me. Hey. I take offense to that. Yeah, you can take offense to it, you can take a gate to it, you can <laughs> you can take whatever you like to it. Um that's all we need. Anthony chasing someone down wearing nothing but socks and ties. <laughs> good. We are good, Randy. I hope you had a good night. We are all doing well. Hey, look, has anyone else got this? It struck me yesterday. I don't want to get, as, as, as I normally say, I don't want to get involved in the whole thing, but it's like a long weekend. I'm, I'm sitting there and the grass needs mowing and a couple of other jobs need desperately doing around the house. And yet it's got this long weekend feeling. You think, oh, gee, I'm pleased when the long weekend's over, I'll get back to work. But it's not going to end <laughs> quickly. Gonna it's, oh, it's, a, it's a weird mind space. It's all I can say. So if you're feeling out there the same as I am, that it's weird, it's okay. We're all in the same boat. So let's be weird together. He does wash in between. That's just his favourite shirt. He washes, he gets it off the line, puts it back on the yellow one you bought. What? Like yeah, someone's having a go because that's the only... Like one. Yeah, they're always wearing the same one. <laughs> G'day, Wolfie! <clears throat> I said I'm going to start later so we're all on time. <laughs> I love it. Use my number four today on some wench and it was smooth. Oh, Randy, I'm happy. On wench too, <laughs> you did well. Yeah, that's bony stuff. Don't, I'm telling you now, don't get a splinter from that stuff. It will throb. Oh, it's lovely stuff, though. I, I um, used to use it before I got on to Ebony. A lot cheaper than Ebony, too. Yeah, yeah it's um, October the 20... Uh, no, October the 59th, in case you're wondering what the date is. <laughs> That pin has me now, Steve, is for sure going to put his hand down. Which one? This one here? No, that's for Anthony. <laughs> oh, look, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm going to do a Theo, a spinning top. Look, look at that. How good is that? I should see if I Whoa, hit it with a hammer. <laughs> Donk. That's it. Uh... I... I love that one. I think you put it up, Trevor, that cartoon of the dog standing on the lounge looking out the window. And there's this guy sitting next to him looking out the window and he turns to the dog and he goes, I never realised it before, but now I know why you get excited when someone walks past. <laughs> there you go. G'day, Murray. How are you, mate? Good to have a chat the other day. It really was. Nice to, nice to touch base. Oh, on that middle one, um, sorry, sorry, we're having a conversation. Murray and I were talking the other day. On the Odie Cologne or the Dog and Bone, which is? No idea. I'm trying to teach him rhyming slang. Odie Cologne? What rhymes with Odie Cologne? I don't know. What do you live on? A home. <laughs> Close. A phone? Ah! Dog and Bone. Phone. Odie Cologne. Phone. And he showed me some timbers. And from what I could see from the picture, I think one of them was definitely a painted post. Um, another one was American oak or white oak. And then the last one, I reckon, is blue gut. But the middle one, it could be red iron bark. It could be tea tree. Or the other one, it could be bird of plum. Um, with that really nice, deep, purpley colour. But anyway, there we go. Oh, that was yours, Travis. Yeah, very funny. I do get, I get amusement out of you. I do. I, <laughs> I won't say what I was going to say. Rhyming slang is a bit challenging. Is it? Well, I, I think it's easy in trying to remember the real words, Brunella. But there again, you're the boss. So, no, it is. It's fun. Anything you can think of that rhymes with something, just use that. You know, whack it in your sky rocket, that's your pocket. Go and de no, <laughs> what? I oh, know, leave him, he'd be right. He'd be in and out like I don't know what. Um, 
Tebo, now you know what. Is he outside there? Yeah. Oh, well, come in, Bob. Make yourself a hit. Make an entrance. Swing that camera around so you can get it on his nut. nut. Now swing it around so it's on his head. There you go. There he is. You've got to follow him. You've got to follow him. Look, <laughs> he's going, where's me bed? Hey, where's me bed? You mongrels. I took it back up to the house. That's where it is, Bob. Oh, he's behind you. Careful. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Prunella says, hello, Bobsy. He's going, wink, wink. <laughs> so he's excited. All right, well, what I'm going to do with Auntie first is show us your, your head chopper offer. Now, what character has this? Where's the handle? Is there a character in the game you play that has one of these? Or? No, it's more like... Get on shot. You've got to come over here and get close to me because I've got the mic. No, it's more like I just like swinging around to sharp weapons. All right. Now, listen, we could put a screw through there Yeah. and then a hole there, a hole there, a hole there, a hole there. That's going to work fine. Mm, true. But remember, I wanted it to sit like that. All right. Well, if it, it, just that way like that? Yeah, and like that. Okay, so well, you can have it. We can have it so it'll sit like that because we can drill one hole there that's going to stay. We'll cut this corner off here. And then we can also put the other holes in the other way. So, okay, if you cut that off. First of all, I'm going to get the young fella on a spoke shave. That's as wobbly as a drunk, drunk as sailor's boot. So, come here. Over here. Come in. Spoke, shave. I wasn't going to let you use me h and Gordon, but I will because you're a good bloke. Um, want a round base on that. Squirt bottle. Where was that one? I have no idea. Um... No, not that one's got kerosene in it. There you go. Let me just get this one up here. All the way, all the way along. That's it. You don't have to wash it, just, just wet it. <laughs> I don't use that much water when I wash bulb. <laughs> okay. Whack your... Do you know how to use a spoke shave? Just whack any other? Well, let's have a look. Actually, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we'll do. What? Haven't used this for years. Now, you keep doing that. All. I'm going to set this up. This is a compass plane. Hang on. Let me just get in there and have a bow peep at this. See how that bends? Yeah. Dum -ba -dum -ba. I always thought when I was little that that thing was made to chop head off heads. Well, <laughs> this, is, this is from a kid that's making a scythe. Yeah, good on you. Oh, no. That's... What? No, it's not going to. Just see if you can get those lumps out. Even pull it towards you. Put a bit of grease on the bottom of it. Hey, it's good. It's good. I don't have to do any work now. Yeah, you work. I'm watching. Yeah, I just, I'll, I'll show you. That's it. And you do little bits. Feel it with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you can feel there's a lump there. Just take that little lump out first. Don't push down so hard you're going to hit a Chinaman in the head. Just lightly. <laughs> That's true, T-Bone. We know that now. Okay, now. Nah. Yep, I'll be up. Where you've got that lump there, yeah. 
Yes. All right? You just work a little bit at a time. Towards you, away from you, doesn't matter. And you feel how smooth that is. All right? And then when you feel a lump like that, if it, if it chatters, come back the other way. And then feel that. Okay? Little bit, little bit. Now that still right up to there. Try from the try that little bit there, from there to there. Just a little bit. Or that's it. But feel it with your hands. Don't just keep on going until you go through it. Yeah, he, he did. He had his bed yesterday, Prunelli. You weren't here. He came in, he laid on it, and he stayed there for the entire stream. I was absolutely gobsmacked. And then I took it up, put it up in the house, and he slept on it up in the house. Supertastic Animal Land. I really want to shout out in a video. Well, there you go. Supertastic Animal Land. You've got to shout out. Thanks for coming in the workshop. It's what I loved last night on MasterChef. They, um, yes, yeah, just a little bit there. They, one of the contestants, Poe, she said, oh, I'm going to have my dream realised. I want to get shouted at by Gordon Ramsay in the kitchen. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, that's not too bad. This one. There you go. Turned over to the other side. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, we, we had discussions about that, Prunella, and yeah, it was it was <laughs> much calmer to have a straight handle because you couldn't get the concept that I was trying to get with the curved handle. Yes. Yes. So Anthony made it, and he's happy with that. That's it. That's all right, Max. He's not reading them. <laughs> um, yeah, well, they, it's great what they used to use for fencing in, in days gone by, isn't it, Murray? Oh, thanks, Supertastic. All right. See if you can grip it. You, you're choking the thing. It's, it's going to be dead. Just a little, a little bit like that. See, just lightly. As, as Theo would say, it's finesse. So you don't, don't grab it like that, okay? Just like that. Less pressure, and you'll get more shavings done. <laughs> oh, that's something I didn't want to think of, Trevor. He's wearing a pair of shorts today. He didn't wear underpants the other day. <laughs> oh, that's an absolute classic. We've got to get that. Young fella's losing it now. That, that's it. That'll keep him awake. I did not need to know that, Papa. Uh, it's going to haunt my nightmares. Yeah, give you nightmares. Give me nightmares, too. It's terrible, He does love his bed. Hey, Kerry, where did Kerry pop in? Oh, Kerry, get a Pam, how are you, darling? Can I call you that? Are we friends enough that I can call you that? Got the young fella working today. I think I may ask for help. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, we do. We do, Prunella. When you're not there and when, when the regulars aren't there, it makes you think, oh, what's going wrong? Let's have a feel. That's, yeah, that's getting better. Okay, a um, bit there. Yeah. You see where there's a dip down? Just take a little bit off that side and a little bit off that side. Make it look like it's actually part of it? Yeah, no, you just take it out and it'll be even. Steve Hay, teacher for... For the day, for me today. Oh, there you go. 
Yeah, <laughs> stand up straight. Have a look at that. Hey, eh? it was about knee high last time I met him. Yeah. No, it's, uh, no, we don't have to feed him. He knows how to get into the fridge now. Boy, we we got seven fridges, and he knows where they all are. <laughs> you get into all of them. You do. Uh, all right. How's that go? Still working on it a bit. All right. Well, what I'd like you to do is go up to the bandsaw. Your record power bandsaw. We'll give, we'll give Mike, Mike a big plug. Um, and no, I don't need that. What I want, I want the handle. Where's the handle? Oh, well, well, look, I can lose my workbench in here. Um, okay. So where are the screws? That I had on there before? Yeah. Up in the front here. Okay, go and grab me one. And is this, oh no, screwdriver gun's here. Yes. So, um, grab me two. Okay. Thank you. All right. Oh, I'm going to make a template for this to go on the front of that arts and crafts cabinet. Um, yeah, oh, budget is nice, especially when you get figured stuff. Ooh, very. Very nice. See, see what I did? I made him go up to use his bandsaw so he doesn't use mine. <laughs> All right. This is the front droppers, if you like, or styles um, to go on the side of the cabinet. And this is MDF, which isn't really good for templates because it moves too easily. You got it? Yep. All right. Well, I'm just going to, whoops, sort this out. Oh. And what we've got to do, or what you've got to do, is cut a round bit off here. Um, Okay, I think we might. This is this is hit and miss. Okay, we'll put this bit through here. Okay. Yeah. So now, if you can go up. And cut that. that there. It should swing. It should swing. Actually, we might even be able to come back to there. Okay, so cut that bit off. Yep. Um, take this out. All right. Thank you. Uh, where'd that bit go? I was cutting. Okay. I, I've got to straighten this bit up myself. It's a, a bit, bit Willy Wonka. Oh, dear. The MDF does have, you know, some good uses and making patterns for templates is one of them because it is so easy to um, sculpt into whatever shape you want. And I want that nice and 
smooth. <laughs> After telling Anthony it had to be nice and smooth, I've got to make sure mine is too. There you go. So I'll rough cut this one over on the bandsaw over here. Which I'll point that over there and we'll go over there. And just quickly cut this up. That's not going to work. I'll just knock it off with a saw. You back? <coughs> Let me just cut this one off. Okay, go over to the drum sander and I want it rounded, not straight. I want a nice curve like that. Yeah. Or you can go up to the bandsaw and do it again, but just a nice curve like that. Actually, give me a French curve. Yeah, we'll see which one we need. You got to slide them up. That's a boy. Let's just have a look. One on. You can either, you're better off, or I can just rough cutting that on the bandsaw, just that bit there, yeah. and bringing it down here. And there is the, uh, dis no, don't use the disc sander. It's, if you're not used to it, it's a bit of a I'm not used to finger muncher. We don't like finger munchers. Go there. All right, so I'll go and trim this off just to get it round ish. Whoop! Oh, that's 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 quality, that is. My handle flew out. to go. Yeah, just go over the bob and sander and give that a bit of a tickle. And I'll go over to the router. <laughs> um, can you... No, hang on, where is it? Hey. Yeah, hang on. Hang on. Where's the one? Actually, no, pass me that that carpet tape. Yeah, tough. That's the stuff. <laughs> I 
Yeah. So only the, the follow router I'm using, so it's not, not a biggie. This is carpet tape, it's not the normal double-sided tape I prefer, but I couldn't see it straight, I mean Anthony was standing next to it, so that's why we're using it. There you go, just look. Okay, that bit there, just knock that little pointy bit off. Yep. Up. All right. Mm. And what I do there is put it in, put it in the vise. It gives extra pressure so that doesn't fall apart. Don't do this with cheap double-sided tape because it won't hold. It will move which A, can be dangerous, and B, ruin your job. Steve, Derek, Tyler, Sean, to Chaos and Mayhem on the <laughs> chat room. Oh, well, that's nice. Hang on. Okay. And Chaos is all right, I tell you. It's crazy here. Let me just... Ah. Try and put this on without cutting myself. There we go. It's all good. Hang on, let me just get the young fella sorted. But I've got to have a chat too. Where, where's me my mice going? Adam, but um. Oh, people are coming. Thanks for bringing me up to date, Brunella. Um, Anthony was about knee high. Wow. Oh, yeah, no, leave it in there. That one leaks. Oh, okay. Just wondering. That's just the mm. one you normally use. Hey, Martin. Welcome from Argentina. Oh, excuse me. I, I, just, I just burped. There's <laughs> no other word for it. Welcome to the workshop, my friend. Kerry Blue. No AC here today and forced to use hand tools. I, <laughs> do I have enough? Oh, I think you could. You could sell some to, um, you know, who we won't mention. <laughs> now, have, have you got, had any more snakes in your workshop since that big carpet snake? No, snakes aren't all bad. Uh, with my children, we make weapons for cosplay. There you go. That's what this is. We'll show your sword. Where, where's your sword? This is. Well, how many did you make of these? Made about three. Three. And how many intact of you? Well, you hang on to it. I don't want to cut myself. It's got no blade on it. Oh. <laughs> this is the only one I can find. Oh, you reckon your brother's hidden the rest? No. No. I know one shattered because I swung so hard that the, it broke off at the handle. Oh. But you got a template so you can make other ones. Yeah. Well, which I can't find. Well, it's not my problem. I'll help you make the template, but I can't keep an eye on it. And you did the paint job yourself? Yep. That's very artistic. Ah. Okay, Jared, good morning. I'm catching up with everyone here. Oh dear. Wesley, good day, mate. Good day, Ange. What's he making today? Well, Anthony's in here, he's my, one of my grandsons. And he's making a cosplay scythe to go with his sword so he can behead his brother <laughs> or something like that. And I'm making a template to go on the front of that cabinet. And I'm, I don't know, I might have a go at um, a carving design and I've got to do some more work on the box lids over there. So it's all happening. A scythe, that's it. Hey, John, how are you, mate? Oh, <laughs> well, to the four amazing gentlemen, salutations, good afternoon, good morning, good day, good night, and how are you? Thanks, John. And I hope you're, you're coping well. Um, what else have we got here? 
Yeah, where Steve, Derek, Taylor and Sean. Well, would you prefer Steve, Derek, Taylor and Sean or do you like to be called gentlemen? If someone called me gentlemen, I'd be looking around the room to see who else was in here. <laughs> but anyway, that happens. The monster has been mentioned. Run for the... Oh, no, I'm going to use it in a minute. You just wait. No, not the big one. I'm going to use the little one, the cheap one. All right, where are we up to? Where's your sticky thing? Okay, so what my idea is, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, yes. as I'm sure you will. Okay, now. Where's, where's, where's a screw? screw? If we put, eh, eh. Where'd, where'd the little one go? That, that's a much more better one. Why, because it actually fits? No, because it'll, I can push it through. Um, uh, we might make another hole. <laughs> it's, it's good. Um, we, we're designing it so we can do what we like. And there's every chance it's going to go through into my hand. Oh, I was right. Okay, so, now. That's what you want? Yes. Is that far enough that way? Yes. All right, now. What you've got to do, what you've got to do, Lud, is <laughs> get yourself a drill. Um... Let me, you just mime to the people, because I've got the microphone, so you can just stand there and look exceptionally good looking and alluring. And I'm just going to go and see if I can find some little machine bolts and we can fix this puppy. All right. So, now, you're having a great laugh yeah. and everyone can't hear. I know. Because, that, but you it's all... Call me, at least didn't call me the Grand Peeper. Better than the Grand Poobah. <laughs> all right, well, where are we going? Kerry, but Anthony needs to work on his muscle. He does. Do an impression of you eating food. <laughs> <laughs> That's three chickens. Hey! At least in... Oh, the Grim Reaper. There you go. Grim a bloke went around peeping into old folks' homes' windows at night and scaring the old folks. We called him the Grim Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. All right, OK. Now, yeah. show... We'll show the peoples out there in TV land. That's a wing nut. That's what we used to call someone with big ears. <laughs> it's a wing nut and a screw thread. And what I want you to do is get the drill box. This one? Yep. If not, we'll go up the other shed and get the big one. And you gotta, 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 gotta get the right size hell, which is either gonna be 15, 64, still left. That one there. Now, now go and stick it in the drill press. Yeah, but don't go yet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, can I try it out? Ooh. No, it's beheading Noah. Ooh, I'll just see if it works on you first. Okay, so now what you've got to do is go to the drill press, put that in, and then work out what degrees you want these at, mm. and drill a hole. Let's see where we're going. Okay. Use this hole here, yeah. right, and then 
set it there, drill a hole, and then the next position you want, drill a yep. hole, the next position you want, drill a hole, the next position you want, drill a hole, the next one. And then you'll have those holes and they'll all be schmick. All right. You, you can use the, that drill, but you're going to be better off using the, now you're better off using the drill press because you're going to get a straight yeah. hole. All right, you go and do that. And that would be awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you're going to be like an old man. You've got no teeth. Well, the, the chuck is hanging, the key's hanging next to it. So I'm going over there anyway because I'm going to use the router. I'm all sighted now. Oh, no. <laughs> Before I can use the router, <laughs> you can look at Anthony's hairy legs. I've got... <laughs> <laughs> I know I've got hairy legs. Oh, I tell you what, he's not allowed outside in summer in Australia because they're a bushfire danger. Okay, <laughs> I've just got to clean off my router table because somebody has been putting rubbish on there. You? Yeah, it was me, but, I, you, but you don't have to say it like that. You can say somebody. No. You just dropped my drill bit, I heard it. Oh. <laughs> oh, is that the bit you took out? Yeah. Okay. Isn't it marvellous? It doesn't matter how big your shop is. And I wish I had one as big as Murray's. He's got a lovely big workshop. I'll get rid of that car, though, mate. They, they just take up good workspace. Um, <laughs> no, better not say that because I could get in trouble. Is that coming from someone who owns three cars? Yeah, how many do I put in the shed? Uh -huh. I mean, we've got enough parking here for what, what was it, 15 cars or 20 cars or something, and not one car goes in the shed. Because. Yeah. And then Nan wanted, Nan wanted a, um, a car, a shed to put her car in, and then she's turned around and going, no, one that there's a sewing room. Oh, speaking of which, hang on, I'll give you a quick squeezy. What do you want? Pencil. Yeah, go for it. What do you need a pretzel for? <laughs> Oh, you just knocked a lot of people on the head then. Um, where's my eau de cologne? Here we go. Your phone? Yeah, somebody asked me the other day, we're going to do a tour of Susie's sanctuary. And I'll oh, get out of there. And I took a photograph and here's part. Here is part of her sewing room. You see that? There you go. That's that's her playpen, but that's only part of it. She's got she got more stuff than I've got. She's got more material than I've got timber. I tell you. Exactly. That's it. Let me put something on my ears. Whack me earmuffs on. G'day, George. If you're watching, with my eye muffs. Okay. Here we go. Now, learning from experience. Make sure you don't get against the direction of rotation because you'll get a kickback and they're not very nice and they're definitely not nice when you're doing a live stream. Are you laughing, Louise? Stop laughing. Here we go. There we go. Is Anthony hard at work out there? You got it? Is it working good? Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Oh, oh no, you don't know. I've got, I've, got a, I've got a database I've never used, so I'm going to put it out there. But Terry Gordon from h and Gordon has said that he'll give a $300 gift voucher away, 
All you have to do is order a catalogue online, h and Gordon, go on to h and send him an email, tell him you're watching Woodworking Masterclass and that you would like a catalogue and you've got to give him the answer to a question. And the question is, what does Terry make his Gigi planes out of? For those of you that don't know, I'll give you a hint. Gigi is the name of a tree. And uh, yeah, a lot of people have got emails that Tamaris, his daughter, sent out saying that their catalogue's on the way. And you can't lose. Because even if you don't give the gift voucher, you get a lovely colour brochure with all Terry's and Colin's tools in there. So there you go. Give it a go. Oh, where are we up to? High glue, I think, Brian. Where, where did we go, high glue? My dad is watching. He taught me woodworking. He made horse buggies and cabinets. Oh, lovely. Ask him to tell you the story of the repair job when the machine gun wrecked it apart. Oh, no, well, oh, I'd love to hear that story. That, that'd be a bit freaky, wouldn't it? Oh, dear. Where's Penelope? She's off. Uh, oh, that reminds me. I'm on some heavy-duty stuff, so don't wonder if I suddenly disappear. Might pass out, the doctor said. Well, we, we understand, providing you're not going to sleep through boredom, Your Highness. Uh, uh, ba -doom, ba -doom. Well, what's that other one down, down the... Um, down the coast, Trevor, in New South Wales. Come and go look or something or other. Come and, come and go look, something like that. Why is Anthony making an instrument of death? Because he is a teenager. And because I like to play with death. <laughs> no, he calls me, actually calls me the Shinigami. Which is a the Japanese. Sounds like a description of your room. <laughs> <laughs> what, the Shinigami? <laughs> This has got something growing on the wall. What's that? Oh, Shinigami. Oh, good <laughs> it's, on. Not, it's not a death god. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Um, too late, it's done. Maybe it's time that Anthony... No, no. What? I'm not letting him near, <laughs> near a router. Have you used a router yet? Uh, I, don't, yes. I don't know. Oh, you have. Okay. Well, there you go. He's already he's already used what what that one or a hand wrap? Uh -huh. Oh, that one. Oh, that's right. When you're doing your swords, that's right. I did the profiles myself. You did. I was watching. It's all right. Gosh. I'm irresponsible, but not that irresponsible. Okay. Does that go through nicely? If it's too tight, okay. Well, take the next size up, and just go and repeat the process yep. with that one. Did you put the other one back in? You didn't. No, you've got to put it in the drill press to do it. Here, take that with you and put the drills in. When you're finished. Good lad. Yeah, mate, no, it's, it's only if he drops something on it. Come here, ants, 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 ants. Come, come, come. Come, just, 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 just. Could I ask you a serious question? What? Serious question. If you hurt yourself in the workshop, whose fault is it? Mine. And if you drop something on your thongs, whose fault is it? Mine. And do you whinge? No. No. What do you say? My fault. Yeah, there you go. Same I just thought I'd get that covered. You can only advise. Exactly. You can take a horse to drink, but you can't make him water. As the great late Bianchi Peterson used to say. Yeah, it's a nice sewing room. We were going to get, we were going to do that this week. When we make an apron, might have to put that off till next week. Oh dear. What take on your No, no, he's. Oh, thank you, John. I appreciate. They think you were my son. Well, you are really. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just skipped a generation. But no, we got five boys, haven't we? Yeah. It's easier that way. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm after here. We should give George a ring. Oh, 
Oh, someone asked me, that was, yeah, a couple of streams ago. He's got Bluetooth. <coughs> Excuse me, Bluetooth um, eye muffs in the production line and noise cancelling. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome when they come out. What do you use that mortise and pestle for? For, where is it? Jeez, you've got good eyes. Where, where's my mortise? Oh, over there for crushing up um, shellac. Because I had a heap of shellac and I blended it. Yeah, I'll show you. This is, this is another thing you shouldn't do, apparently. Oh, it, it's good. It's good. I had a heap of D-Wax Blonde and I thought, and it had gone hard because in the container, when it came over from England, the heat of the container uh, melted the D-Wax Blonde, so it came out in chunks. Actually, I'll see if I can find a chunky one and then you'll know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I know there's some on top of the the fridge up in the smithy. Here we go get it. Oh no, I've got one here, I think, mate. No, this will do. This this will do. Oh, I got one. But there is, there's some up in the smithy. So that's it's meant to be in flakes, but as you can see it's like great big lumps of amber. So I had this brilliant idea of putting it through a food processor and I blew two food processors up in the process. And I had it so it went like that, which is great. But when you don't use it, it ends up like that, which is just one big solid chunk. If I can get the solid chunk here. Oh. There you go. That's one great big lump. So the only way I could crush it was using a mortise and pestle. That's what the mortise and pestle was there for, Brian. But what, what I've discovered is really interesting because when you're using flakes, let me just go and put this away. I'll see if I can. I'll find some flakes. Here we go. Here's one with flakes in it. Uh, all right, this is, this is what it's meant to look like. That's what it's meant to look like. So very thin, thin uh, shards. And the way I mix the flakes is I just put them in the container, cover them with alcohol, and then they melt. And that ratio eventually will give me a four pound cut. But what happens when you use it, when you've pulverized it, what you think is the same amount of shakes, uh, flakes, isn't, and therefore it gels up pretty quickly. So there you go. You're better off if you're going to use it and it's gone hard on you like that, smash it up as you need it, rather than doing what I did because it causes problems. Hope that satisfies your curiosity, Brian. Uh, Papa. What? Well, get a counter sink. See, it's sitting up that, that much there? Yeah. Okay, hang on to that. Um, if that one is too... We'll do it. We'll do it here. We'll do it live. Um, if this one's too big... Yeah. You see, where are we? Can you bring that camera over here? There you go. You cut up. What? So that's the problem. It's not coming through far enough, but it's a countersink screw, so it's coming up a lot higher on the other side. And I reckon if we just pull that out. There you go. If we just countersink that. Um, have a look the other side of that door. Go out there, no, out there. Pull the door to and have a look behind the door on the wall. There should be a bigger countersink there. Is there? This one? Is it bigger? Yes. Yep, that'll do. Might be much bigger, but. No, it's much, what do you mean not much bigger? 
The difference between a box of chocolates and a bar of chocolate, that is. I like, I like a bar of chocolates. <laughs> so do I. Just swing that camera down a little bit. There you go. No, that's good. No, no, just the top of the camera. No, that's it. Oh. There you go. Schmick. Oh, word for the week. All right. I reckon, now try it. I, well, just move around for a bit, all right? <laughs> you find it? Yes. Just like this. Line it up. Just give it a wiggle when it goes. There you go. Now try it. And after you've done it a couple of times, we'll most likely find a washer and we'll put it on there. So how does that? Well, give it a, give it a, don't go and try it out on your brother. Are you happy with that? Yes. Try another position. Now, what I think we should do too is we'll get rid of that screw on the other side. Give it a shorter one? Um, yeah, because you can catch yourself on that and it wouldn't be fun. Now, push it from the other side. Oh, that's it. You've done it. All right. <laughs> Smack. <laughs> you taught me that. That's what mouths are for. That, that is. Here, you just wiggle the blade a bit. That's it. Now we're going to have to... Now, actually, you can cut off the... the so I'm not happy with that screw hanging out. You just cut that screw off with that. Yep. So you want to go up and paint it? You're not. You're not going to paint it. I had enough trouble with the swords. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. You're only going to get better by doing it. Yeah, I'll hold that and you... You cacky-handed, right-handed people, I don't know. <laughs> You're left-handed. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's, it's left-handed, is it? It's a, what? <laughs> it's a left-handed saw. No! Come here, give it me. You hang on to it. Very sharp, is it? Uh. Get the big guns out. <laughs> Whoop! There you go. Thank you, Pop. Done. Well, you can paint it if you want. We'll do it. <laughs> Go and have a play. You happy with that? Yes. Has that sorted your problem yet? Yes. If all life's problems were that easy, wouldn't it be good? All right, mate, take your sword with you. Don't hurt your brother. Oh, look at that. The boss is back. Oh, you've got to have a look at this. She hasn't done the same today because she's been busy. But look. Oh, she has. Have a look at this. And I want you out there in potato land to, where's it, where's the, I don't know. I want you to get into this woman because she is too cheap. I don't want to touch the ground. Oh, other way. Other way. There you go. You got it? Yeah. Look at that. I think that is absolutely beautiful. I love the colours. And it's all nicely quilted on the back. She's a good girl, but she's too cheap, aren't you? Mm hmm. Mm. Go, just, just whack a couple of figures down what you think it's worth. And all the binding, all the binds are all done by hand, not machine. She sits up there at night time and does that. So you take that out. Yeah. So it doesn't get anything on because it's yeah. got to get all delivered. Right, I'll be back. You, yeah, I'll, I won't show you saying right. until you get, I'll show him me cut that I just got. Because right. I, just, I just slipped with the hacksaw. Look, look, real. See what I bleed for my grandchildren. 
what can I tell you? Oh dear, I'm going to have a sneak peek. I, don't, I can't read this upside down. Oh dear, well that was good. Anthony has been wanting to do that for ages. You all, can I come down and do it? Of course you can. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, what is, oh okay, we've got the mortise and pestle. Ah, uh, do 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 do. Oh, now don't be like, it still belongs to Sue. It's just I use it more than she does, Brunella. <laughs> Oops. Uh, appropriated, that's the word, appropriated. What was the terminology you used the other day for describing the hardness of... Oh, Janka. J-A-N-K-A. -A, Janka hardness scale. Yeah, I think Gidgey's up around... It's, it's 18, I think, and Bullock's 22, but uh, Ebony's down to 8. That's true, Ray. I learned, I taught them that very early. <laughs> G'day, Reginald, how are you? No, <laughs> yeah, nice Negrita. Yeah, yeah, until you try and swallow it. Oh, I suppose with alcohol it would have just diluted, wouldn't it? There you go. Steve's painted his... No, that's what Anthony said to me last night. He said, Papa, he said, what have you done? He thought I'd smashed him <laughs> with a hammer. And no, that's the stain from yesterday. I didn't use the high glue on that. Uh. <whistles> I got a microwave in the oh, shed once in her kitchen until she used... That, well, that's it. If you want something, you've got to use it so they don't want it, and then you can claim it. <laughs> Is it true? Uh. Okay, Trevor reckons $650. Yep, and $650... Oh, no, no, she's talking about the microwave. Oh, no. The guys love how you're old school. I, I went to an old school. It's a pub now. It is. I, I used to go, anyone in Sydney, I used to go to North Sydney Technical College opposite North Sydney Station and it's a pub and a restaurant. It would be shut now. It would be. It's weird though. I went back there and I'm sitting in the, de de <laughs> I'm sitting in the detention room having a beer. What? Nothing unusual about that. Been well, I've been in detention or having a beer. <laughs> I've, I've been in detention more than I've had beers. Yeah. Come over way. here, me cuddly pot. Use aluminium tape for the blade. This is a good idea. I've got some too out there that I used to wrap around, um, what do you call them things? Pickups oh. for guitars. I prefer copper now, though. <coughs> Nothing wrong with Molly Dukas. But... God only made a few geniuses, Max. The rest of the world have to cope being right-handed. <clears throat> oh, do, do, do. oh. <laughs> so Ray wants a quilt now. <laughs> Hello, Louise says, good morning. Trevor says, good morning. Panda says, good day. Oh, Lucas, Lucas says, wow, beautiful, good day. Am I missing something I didn't see? You did. If you missed it, you didn't see it. It was a big, beautiful, colourful quilt she's just made. And I'm, I'm telling her she's too cheap. Oh, there you go, Panda. You've got, got one already. There you oh, go. So there just send that go. one overseas. You're international now. Mm. <clears throat> Actually, I've got one in Singapore. There you go. There's a good $600, Ray reckons. Jared reckons 1000 bucks. Oh, my God. Gorgeous. Agreed, Steve. 1200 says max, 300 pounds, which is $700. 750 minimum, 1500. Yeah, shall I tell them what you charged? Yes, go on. $180. That included postage. Oh, not going to do that again, are you? No. And, and 
the woman wanted that one and she already had one made but she couldn't find it so she made that one a couple of days ago. Ugh. G'day Charlie. Oh, I like your figure. That's nice. Two and a half grand. Yeah, oh, I, like I, them I can. Yeah, there you go. Ray's gone 180. What the? What are you thinking, Sue? Oh, no, Sue. There you go. So, as you've been told by I the think world. I have been told. The world has. So, because you won't listen to me. Anyway, what's the saying? Let's have a look. Oh, ha, <laughs> ha. This is for the stream. This is this is the motto Maybe for the stream. This is me. This, no, this is honest, not hostile. Oh. <laughs> no, you're good. All right, here we go. Susie's sensational sewn sewn saying saying segment surprise. Thank you, John. Here we go. Where's me? I've got to push me button. Here we go. This is it. Be silly, be honest, be kind. I'd have the other way around. Be kind, be silly, be honest. There. But that's good. I like that. Because you've got to be silly in this, <laughs> in this situation. You go nuts. Yeah. There you go. All right. So that was good. Mm. I like that one. I love that red. It's yeah, a it's nice vibrant, red. Isn't it? mm. G'day, Eric. Hello, everyone. Not going to be here for long. <laughs> Mate, none of us are here for long. Just taking a break from Facebook live streaming. Oh, there you go. Are you another streamer? There's streamers watching streamers. Oh, I like that. <coughs> so look at that. Minimum rage is around 20 bucks an hour. Since you've experienced that, bumps you up to $30 now. And that's... that's, oh, that's well, thank you. See? Thank you. Julian goes, nice. Good, good saying. This is so true in this modern era. It is. Trouble is, you get arrested for being silly. People don't trust you if you're kind and they don't believe you when you're honest. Yeah. We've got to go old school, Max. We'll, start, we'll come on, Trevor, we'll all get together and Brian, we'll, we'll start a, a movement. <laughs> we'll change it. All the guys love to call soon. Now you have five nurses here also. Great you, career. Yeah, you, you gave it a shot, didn't you? I did. You did. I had a few years. You've been did a few band pans in your time. I have been did a few band Washed pans. Washed a few bot bots. Yep. <laughs> Rubbed a few backs. Uh, how's your back? Not great. Not great. No. I hurt it when I was nursing when I was sixteen. That long ago. Yep. You could have grown. Long you, time ago. You could have grown a new back with stem cell technology. You know. Yeah. That's <laughs> what happens when you lift people that are too big for you. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. Then, there you go. Labor is not free. See, even Louise is getting in India. But we love you, Sue. There you Thank go. You. Uh, Sue, let's talk turkey. Sell us some a custom aprons. Do <laughs> you want to tell them or me? He's the one that makes the aprons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah, I, I, we were going to do that this week. We were. But we didn't get around to it. No. Ah, yeah, I get bored while I'm in the shop, so I stream while I work that way. I peep so Mate, what do you think I'm doing it for? <laughs> oh, dear. Nine. We're getting more and more. Whereabouts are you, John? I think you did tell us once. Uh, not the address, just a, a state or a country. Or no, it's, it's pretty sure it's America. Oh, uh, okay. So it'll make you some homemade venison jerky for one of those things. <laughs> Do you, do you remember? Yeah. That's deer. Yeah. Not expensive. D double -E deer. Yeah. We went. We went to this flash restaurant once, didn't we? It was a hundred dollars. This is crumbs. It would have been the eighties. Yeah. Or eight? No, early nineties. Early nineties. Went to this flash resort, and they what was it? it was a seven course meal or eight course meal for ninety nine dollars for two which is a lot of money in those days, but for an extra dollar, you got a night's accommodation. And we went down there and it was a seven course meal and venison was on the, the menu. And dead set, the piece of venison I got would have, oh, yeah, it would have been about three triangles that, that size of venison on, what was it, on rice or yeah, some, some muck? Yeah. And, and then in the end, they gave you Jack's biscuit, 
with a bit of cheese on it, and then they classed it as a course. Mm. Still, it was a nice, it was a nice yeah. place. Yeah, that was that was in Ontario. A... Oh, there you go. There you are. Well, where was Brockville? Brockville, he was in. Um, where's that? That's Ottawa, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there Ontario. you go. Oh there, oh, there you go, near, near Ottawa. Hmm. Yeah. Ha. Ah, but we won't, we won't talk about that. Well, we'll talk about her. Hey, Ray, if you're watching. Um, I don't know if they'd let us import it, Wes. But if we come over, we might hold you to it. Tempest Brewer, how are you? Welcome to the workshop. Bingo, bloody good idea. Masters, the old ways are the best. Yeah, absolutely. I reckon, but they won't listen to us. Because <laughs> we're old, we're dinosaurs. We don't know anything. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I like it, Trevor. Me, the difference between women today and women back then, um, I think... Women today, and not only women, but men too, they expect everything to be given to them. Um, I've got a friend, I don't have too many friends, but I have a friend. Oh, I like her. And her granddaughter oh, loves you. Had just had a baby, a second baby. So that was new. <laughs> the baby was new. It was yeah. a new one. Yeah. Straight there, the hatchery. But, <laughs> but she, even the second baby, she had to have new everything for it. Wouldn't have anything homemade, even although her grandmother and, you know, great-grandmother does all right at stuff. No, she had to have brand stuff. And when her grandmother said to her something and she went, oh, you come from the dinosaur age, Grandma. Went, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a nice lady. She said to me last night, she. Not, not your she, Trevor, my she. Like, like we were talking and I said I had a rant about critics. And she said, oh, she said, I was geared up. I wanted to have a rant yesterday about women. <laughs> so I just wind the back. It's all good now. Teddy system. You feel yeah. good? Yeah, that's good. Pascal, welcome. Thanks, mate. Good to have you back in. That woman has rocks in her head. Oh, mate, they had to go and stay at Versace for a week because they had a nurse on call. Absolutely. <laughs> and Versace, I don't know, what's that, 1,500 bucks a night or something? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I won't go there. I might be watching. Yeah. I, I doubt it. Because, because. Man, right? my grand would slap the taste buds off my tongue if I talked. To I like that. Yeah, you can use that, Anthony. You talk to me again like that, boy, and I'll slap the taste buds right off your tongue. Only problem is he's bigger than me now. No, but you know where he sleeps. I do. But you, he's still awake whilst you're asleep, so. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one she, and apparently that's a good thing, Trevor. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll leave. All right. I'll be back. I'm just going to see Susie for a tick um, so you can play I Spy. There you go. I'll be back in the tick. Yeah, no, they, they've been good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so just let them play games or whatever. Oh, what do you want, Buster? Hey. What do you want? You want to go out with Mum? Go on, off you go. Oh, all right, we're back. Who won? Did anyone guess right? Oh, all right. That's the template. <laughs> Bob, fair income, darling, what do you want? I mean, you just, you're like a lost pup. Well, you are a lost pup, aren't you? You can come in, I'm not gonna kick you out, but I didn't think you wanted to be here. I, I was taking them personally, like, you know. Oh, I'm really happy Anthony did that, because he was, oh, I wanna come down. Oh, I don't know, I'll get embarrassed and all. But no, he, he did a good job, the young fella. And, Bit of encouragement, he'll paint it and he really enjoyed doing the swords. 
And the more he can come down here, the more work he gets done. The, the more he likes it, the more he um, wants to do, hopefully. And gets away from the consoles and the games and, oh, the internet. I'm <laughs> watching old men stream woodwork. <laughs> All right, where are we up to now? Uh, Robert, good morning. Are you snuck in? I don't remember saying good morning to you. So good morning, welcome to the workshop. Oh, good, Wes. You're into it. How's the bookcase coming? 15 there now. Oh, you've started a trend. I tell you what, okay, what I'll do. If all those people are watching, if you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. If you can hit that, smash that subscribe button, because then I know what I'm doing. It's actually doing something. Um, and then if you hit the notifications, you'll know when I'm on. But whilst this is all happening in the world, I... Uh, said I would stream every day for as long as I possibly can. I've had, tell, I've had people tell me I should take a day off, but I, I can't sort of do that because I promised I'd do it. So sometimes it'll be a short stream, sometimes a long one, but we're just creating a safe haven where people can come in, feel appreciated, um, feel loved if you like, you want to get all soppy, and yeah, uh, just a little safe harbour for a couple of hours while you can forget what's going on out there and just look at what I do and say, well, at least I'm not as unfortunate as that poor bloke stuck in his shed. <laughs> there you go. No, I love it. And I love having you people out there too because it's good. I just, he doesn't put his tools away. I'm going to smack him when he gets shorter. Um, all right, what have I got here? We have to, this is a shelf. This is the oh, cabinet we stained yesterday. And what I want to do is put this shelf in here and it has to be sanded and a bit has to be taken off. It's got a horrible gnarly bit there. I wet that the other day and I haven't sanded it, so let me just sand it quickly. Oh, i tell you what I did have a thought of doing. Whoops. In the next couple of days, I've just ordered another book because I realise I, you know, YouTube is fantastic and Google is great, but sometimes I just like to sit with a book, not necessarily a book that tells me how to do things, but a book. And all my books that I've bought recently, or recently, I mean over the last 15 years, have been to do with woodwork, or maybe 20 years, could be 30 years. And, um, yeah, I love reading the history of the different styles or the different makers or how things came about. There was one great one I got the other day called um, Chippendale's... I know, was it? Chippendale's Marketry Secrets Revealed. And someone... He's also written another terrific book that I like on marketry. And he's gone back and found out how they actually made the dyes for the marketry that came out in the Chippendale era. The greens, the blues, the reds, violets. Uh, that's an interesting read. And I've just uh, ordered another book from David Lim at um, Timber Bits. So if you need any stuff, give David a ring. Timber Bits, he's on, online in Australia, timberbits.com.au. Tell him you're watching the stream. You won't get a discount or anything, but at least he knows where some of the business is coming from. And, uh, yeah, I ordered uh, Kevin Rundell's book on arts and crafts since I started making this cabinet. I did a workshop with Kevin. <coughs> Crikey. Must have been, oh, my goodness, 10 years ago, maybe 12 years ago. And uh, he was doing inlay work on arts and crafts. And he had his book there. And arts and crafts wasn't particularly a style that I liked, but... It's grown on me over the last few years, so I've ordered that book and I ordered it from Timber Bits. No, sorry, you can't get another copy because I've got the last copy. But what I thought I'd do is I'll bring some books down that I have found enjoyable and helpful and um, we can have a bit of a discussion and the different books that I've used for things. Uh, Andrew Crawford, tremendous box maker. He's, I've got three... Three of his books, I think, maybe four or three. I don't know. 
Um, there's a marketry book that the Smithsonian Institute put out, but that's quite dear. That's a few hundred dollars. Um, as I said, John, John Metcalf, he's the guy that did marketry books. There's some great carving books out there, uh, general construction books. So <clears throat> when this new book comes, and I was talking to David yesterday, should be here early next week. I'll bring it down with a few and we can go and have a look at some books. In the meantime, I wet this down the other day to raise the grain so I could stain it, but I didn't clean it off. So this is hopefully 240, yep. So I'm just going to knock the nibs off, which is going to make it nice and smooth. But <laughs> You idiot, turn it on. There we go. Okay, I have a green light. Silky smooth. Now I'll turn it off. Um, I've got this horrible lump here, which I haven't looked yet. I don't know if it's at the back or the front. So I'm just going to have a look at that. And I really want to get that out because that's nasty. And, oh, that'll be the back. All right. Mm, yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> isn't it marvellous? I'll, I'll, just go, I'll just go over over to the table saw, and I'll just rip it on the table saw. Have a look at my table saw. No, apparently I won't. I might have to plane it out then. That's all right. We can do it. We have the technology. Um, so, oh, let me see how much I'm going to take off. And I want to have it a little bit deeper in the... Um, this is a sliding dovetail we put in the other day. And I want to take a little bit off the front, so when we get doors on... Oh dear. That's interesting. Um, ba -ba -dum -bum. I would have sworn that was a... <laughs> it's a good sliding buff, though. Why I should mark them front and back, but I didn't. No, that's definitely the back. So why? There's that binding. Why is it so? I think I'm going to have to just take a little bit out of there and we'll just adjust it a bit because she's a bit tied up that end. It wasn't before, but it definitely is now. 
Oh, bueno. Let me just have a look. Oh, dear. I might have to put the top on. Might have bowed out a little bit. Because I know it definitely fitted before. Definitely gonna have to. Oh, that's all right. We will just adjust it. Which is good, because I don't think you actually saw me doing that before. I think I did that off, off camera. All right. So what I use is A side rebate plane. As soon as, I, as soon as I get this out. Oh. And you can, you can go either way. I might just take a slither off of this first and then we should adjust the slide. I'm just going to Take just a little bit off of here first. Oh, I didn't put any water in there, but we should be okay. Uh, side rebate plane, which is this little chap here. And which way am I going? I'm going to have to use the other one because it's the other side. <clears throat> and we're just, it seems to be sticking about there. So. I don't want to take too much off. Could be temperature, could be anything doing it. And that's why you have a, 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 um, a taper on the dovetail, because if you had it, if it was exactly the same width, it wouldn't go. It would go in about halfway and jam. So if you look there, she's thinner there than it is there. This part is the bit that actually locks in at the front, and this part you can see where it's rubbing. So I've just taken a bit out of there and we'll. We'll give it a shot. And it's got to go in straight. Oh, it's not going to work. Okay, now, nah, all right. We will, where's the front? That's the back. So in the dovetail itself, I'm just going to widen it on the slide. I pull these apart and they <laughs> no wonder they're not cutting. I'll reset them in a tick. 
All right. I'm going this way, that way. Nearly there. It's a little bit, I think, on the other one to take off. They're a very loose fit right until the very end, and that's when they tighten up. Where are we here? We use this one. I'm just going to have to adjust that because I was playing with it before. Da -da 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 -da. I'll show you how I adjust it. Did you get slide? You got sliding dovetails, didn't you? Uh, Ray, I think. Okay, so I'm going to take that <coughs> plug out there. Oh, got to find something to knock it out with. Here we go. So take the wedge out. Set the blade up, make sure it's sharp. It should be because I, yep. I took them out to sharpen them, that's what it was. I remember now. Now I have it so just this little tip right here is just protruding below the sole there. And we we'll stick the wedge in. It's easier to knock it down than it is to try and knock it back up. That can go about there, that can go there. It's a little bit too far. And that's looking pretty good, I think. Get a test bit of timber. I just want to scratch this like that. So it's just poking down a little bit. Could go back a fraction more, maybe. And we just want the blade coming out ever so slightly from the sole. So we will give that a go. Now that's got to come out a bit more. I reckon <coughs> that's almost a winner there. upside down. So what I want to do now is put the face here on it, which is this one here, and have it so it comes in the right distance, which 
I think it's about meant to be 50 mil. So that's pretty good there. That's good there. I'll bring that down to there. There we go. Just double check that distance from each side. Well, I'll come back here this way a bit. Um, that should be just over thirty. That's 25, that's 30. So if we go to there. Just a smidgen that way, I reckon. It's 27. That's 27, okay? Now, I've also got this down lower than the bottom shelf along here. And the reason for that, that's going to act as a doorstop. When I shut the door, it's going to rest on there and you won't overstress the door by having it going in on the bottom sometimes. <clears throat> so what I want to do with this shelf here is I'm just going to take a little bit from here to here and then just bow it ever so slightly so it is sitting deeper than this one here. And again, that way you don't get the door knocking on it. Sometimes you get a little bit of warpage in the door or whatever and you don't really want that. So let me... Where did Anthony put me pencils? Here we go. We'll put a mark there. And a mark there. And then we can take that out. You don't have to take much off, just a little bit. And on the back, I've got to take. No, the back's good. Now that's that's a nice fit at the back. And you'll notice how loose that dovetail is there compared to say in the front so that's pretty tight but if you look at this one it's pretty loose but it'll hold it in there and that's what we want it's better than just putting a normal dado in there because if you you do what can happen this board can sag and your square bit up here can, you know, get mashed up and you get a sag in your shelf. Whereas if you've got a sliding dovetail, it actually locks it into place. Ah, so that's good, that's good. That bit there I don't like. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Oh, actually, what I might... No. No. I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. I'll put a bit of, I'll, whoops. I'll put a, make some quad up, which we can do on the router later on, and I'll run a bead of quad up the back, which will cover that up, because I don't want to cut it, because then we'll have too much of a gap at the back. So, all right, I'll take this out. Out she comes. Oh. 
Which I might even... I might do that on the bandsaw. Let me see if I can get a curve. Well, let me have a chat first because I've just been ignoring everyone. Where are we up to? Ah. Oh boy, Sue, the nurses are upset about that, saying they should be grateful for what they get. Oh, no, they're not talking about that. That's, that's ancient history, isn't it? No, I think what it is, is what Sue was saying, was if you can't afford something and someone gives you something, you should be grateful for that and not say, oh, no, I want all new stuff. There you go. Oh, Julian's there. There you go. Let me get down. Uh, where are we up to? Claire says, thank you, Steve, for keeping me grounded during my rough day. <laughs> Absolutely not a problem. Idolizer, if you don't groan putting shoes on, what are you really doing? <laughs> there, that's true. And the young man did extremely well. He did. I'm very pleased with him. He, he did well. Oh, oh this, this is a young man who's not even 30 making old man noises. Mate, I, I just tell you, practice and say you can do it properly. <laughs> and it, it's coming slowly, is it? Where's the bookcase? Is that a chip on the side of the cabinet? I don't know. I don't think so. Let me have a look. Oh, dear. No. Nope. And if it was, doesn't matter, we'd fix it when we get to that stage. Oh, yeah, the wrong Chippendales. I, th I think Ray's referring to Chippendale as in Bugs Bunny. No. I do videos. There's too many people out there writing books. It should be free flowing, Max. I reckon not. Oh, this is how you do it. No, this is. I, I could write a book on how to do dovetails because I could do so many different ways. Same with marketry. I know of six different ways to do marketry to get the same result. I most likely know more than that, but that was six off the top of my head. Uh. I'm just reading. Will a sliding dovetail hate take weight? Yes. I too often pick up a th thick enough board to make a shelf and it sags. That's what it's there for. Doby, hey, didn't see you snick in there. Yet yeah, it'll stop it from sagging. Well, prevent, it'll minimise the sagging, put it that way. Yeah, it's amazing what you... I remember with my dad, when he was towards the end of life, he was, he was, he was very good on the stock market and I... Asked him one day, I said, Dad, can you teach me about the stock market? And he said, oh, you should have asked me when I was younger. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late. Mm. All right, Eric, we'll catch you tomorrow, mate. Yeah, it's true. Um... I, I think they are still being used, used, the old trades, they're still being used, but not in the mainstream anymore uh, because of mechanisation, industrialisation, you've got to make a quid quick. That was what, uh, I've forgotten his name, the guy who started the Lost Trades off, 
think his wife was Rebecca. And he said they're lost trades. They're not dead trades or dying trades. They're just lost. People don't understand them. You, know, you get into blacksmithing. A lot of people are doing blacksmithing. But there's a lot of people now doing mechanised stuff as well. Oh, let me check my batteries. No one reminded me to check my batteries. I just saw a flashing light up there. I thought, I wonder what that means. Oh, got to get me batteries. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm, I'm flashing. No, I mean, I'm not flashing. The, look at that, see? Where are we? It's, it's, it's saying you're out of, out of, out of speak. Please, I went to Bunnings and bought 100 batteries the other day. I'll just change this one up here because she would be blinking as well, I would imagine. Yep, she's out. Hang on, we're going, we're going dumb from. Is it? One, two. Yes, there we go. Oh, is that Max? Max, you didn't remind me. Mm. It's all good. It seems like it two, two streams a day or two day streams out of a set of batteries. Uh, Tempest Brewer, I am a, I'm in denial about bedtime. It's quarantine. It doesn't exist. Yeah, I, look, I said that at the beginning of the stream. I, I'm just waiting for the long weekend to finish so I can get back in the full swing of things. And you just got to get your head around it. It's, oh, you know, half of you's going, oh, I hope this doesn't end. And the other half's going, oh, I want to get back to what it was. But I don't think it will. But I'm not going there. So I'm just going to do woodwork. I'll shut up and forget I ever mentioned it. Uh, Mind you, mind you, Trevor, I must say, when you say all trades uh, and craftsmen are fast disappearing, and John, you agreed, and I think that's great, but let's face it, would you want to go back to dentistry of the 1950s? I wouldn't. Oh, I'm still scared of dentists today, and they don't hurt, but the other ones, belt drive drills, and they were slow, and smoke would be coming out of your mouth, and you had some great big hairy buffoon with his... Knee on your chest telling you to shut up and you're a little kid at six years old. You're screaming because it hurts. Oh, no, so some things are good. I'm pleased those particular trades have been lost. Mm. Oh, that's sad, Ian. Well, I hope you asked the questions you wanted to. James Wright. Oh, there's a Dr. James Wright in Australia. I don't know about a James Wright that... Whoever that. But there you go. Good to see. See you, Julian. Catch you later, mate. Yeah, Cooper's, I mean, that's a dying art, isn't it? Cooperage. You can watch one working. I just love watching Cooper's work. And Cooper's are the people that make kegs. And it's, there's no straight lines there. And, oh, remember the fellow who used to come to the wood shows, Trevor? They used to, I think he's, he's up in the Sunshine Coast. I think his son's picked it up now. <clears throat> 30 minutes. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. <clears throat> now one of the nurses said that because I watch you, I can make them a chest of drawers. <laughs> okay. When are you coming over, John? <laughs> we'll sort it out for you. Yeah, that's what I tell Anthony. He'll sit there and watch it for eight. Mate, you're not going to learn anything unless you actually do it. But I won't get it right. Well, that's all right. Don't get it right. I remember the, day, the revelation with him one day. I said, mate, I don't get it right all the time. I've made more mistakes and I've got it done right. You make mistakes. He was only about that tall. You make mistakes. It's a crikey, yeah. 
half the fun's making mistakes. There we go. Uh. <laughs> yeah, isn't that spell checker? It's so and so, Davey. Eric, Steve, I learned dovetails watching you make the side. Oh, there you go. And I guarantee if I do them again, it'll be different. Oh, okay. Well, there you go, John. You've let yourself into it now. You've, <laughs> you've got to make the chest of drawers. A nice heppel white style, a heppel white style with serpentine front would be lovely. I did, I did, I was quick there, wasn't I? Adverted a disaster. <laughs> that might not be a good thing, hey, <laughs> John? Oh dear. Oh yeah, no, that'd be easy. Yeah, yeah, just give him a chest full of drawers. Oh, wood by right, okay, yes, I've heard of him. I like I like Roy Underhill, the wood right. He's good. Yeah, they reckon they they reckon suicide rate in dentals in dentists is up, you know, up the other end. Mind you, I, I don't know, no disrespect to any dentists out there, but I couldn't handle peering in people's gobs all day. Oh. Ba -dum -ba. I would have loved to spend some time with Amish community. That and the other one, the Shaker communities I love. They were horse dog, you got that right, Max. Oh, not good. Not where's catch you later, not Ange. Redcliffe, that's where he's from. I think it is. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, John. <laughs> All right, so that fits. Now, what I want to do is, oh, this is what I was going to do, put a bow in this if I can. Well, so there we go. I'm keeping an eye on the clock because I know somebody else in the house will be keeping an eye on the clock. She'll be down here. Oh, dear. But she's a she good woman. She look after me. Oh, dearie, dearie, dear. What are, oh, yeah, Ray, I started watching that. I didn't get any carving done, did I? I started watching that... Um, now you see me too? Oh, I'm about halfway through it. Yeah, it's <laughs> quite interesting. And I, I didn't realise um, whatever his name, Daniel Radcliffe, was in it. But, yeah, he's, he's the evil. The evil one. I'll go back and watch that later on. Where are my drills, Anthony? Oh, he's a so-and-so of a child. Uh, now. Now, now, now. What I want to try, I want to try and do this. If I can find some nails, I need some nails. I, I'm looking at myself. Sorry for the close up. Here we go. Got some nails over here. Oh, boy. I knew I had some somewhere. And this is what I have stressed many times. If you're going to be working by yourself, learn to do things by yourself. Because if you keep on wanting that extra pair of hands, you're going to be sadly disappointed many, many times. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw an arch and I'm hoping it's going to work. No, I won't use that. Oh dear. Doesn't matter where we put it. If I put it Where's my, where's my hat, my coat? Oh. Okay, 
it's only got to be a little, a little, little curve. All right. So I might just use a little nail. And again, I've got no, no guarantees this is going to work. I'm just winging this. And those of you that are new, this is basically me just working in my workshop. So if I do things, or it doesn't look as if I know what I'm doing, or I do things that don't work out, that's fine because I'm just trying stuff. So if, if you see something I do and it works out, by all means use it. And if you see something I do and it doesn't work out, learn from it. Okay, so what I've done, I've put a nail equidistant in the same spot. I've got a steel ruler there and I just want to find the centre of this. So, okay, here's a little hint. That only goes up to 600. This is about 630. So what you do, put a mark at 320 from that nail there. Turn it around, put a mark from this nail here, mark at 320. And then all you've got to do is half that mark in there and that's going to give you the centre. And that's 220, so if we go 110, there we go. Where, my... Where did it go? Okay. All right. Now, I'll just go and sharpen this pencil because I know the tip's going to break. But I want a fine edge. Most of my pencils I have in the workshop are HBs, except carving, I use a 2B, and marquetry, on some occasions, I will use a 2H. Okay, so, now yeah, if I put that there and that there, so that's equidistant from the end, and I push in the middle and push down. It's going to be pretty, pretty darn close, I think. Let's bring that up a little bit. Okay, so that's given me a nice curve that will go over to the bandsaw and cut that. And then I'll clean that up with a spoke shave. Now those nails also, they went in the underneath of the shelf, so you won't see that. And in fact, yeah, I'm going to bring that out just about 10 mil either side. See this? This is design as you go. All right, so over to the bandsaw and I'm going to cut that very shallow arch out of there. And then we we'll clean it up with a spoke shave. And I'll show you the, the uh, carving I'm playing with, um, which I was doing this morning, which I wanted to do today, but it's okay if we don't get that done. Because we've got tomorrow, I've still got the box tops to do. Um, that one. There you go. And there we go. I'm not going to bother turning the dust extractor on because I'm lazy.
You can tell the concentration's there. And the tongue's not quite hanging out. Brakes on bansels. So that's a very, very gentle curve in there. It's rough as bananas. That's all right. We'll fix him up. I'm watching the time. Where, where'd Anthony put the water? I'm gonna... <laughs> he did, he did. Now with this, the direction of the grain is going to change when I get there. That's going downhill, so I'm going to plane this way. And then here, it goes uphill. So I have to change the direction that I'm planing. That's a bit, that's a bit coarse for me. Definitely coarse. Roll it. Let it tighten. A little gentle tap. And come back this way. A bit blunt, let me just give it a quick, quick hone. I'm hoping it doesn't need a regrind, but if it does, I'll give it a regrind later. A lot of these tools, you don't have to go to the stone all the time. You can actually just strop them and they come good again. And that is the case in point. That's pretty close. You've got to be careful when you go over that halfway mark because you will get tear out. 
if you're not careful. And that, to me, is good enough. I will actually finish that off with a cork block that has been rounded over. So that way I'm not getting the hard edge in there. I'm using the soft edge there all the time. And oh, I just, I've got to get into this. That's not too bad. I can work on this end up here. So that's looking pretty good. Need to um, stain it, which I shall do shortly, but I've just seen the time, so I'd better catch up on all my, my goodness and g'days and how are ya? Um, where are we? Love that mallet once I get my new basement all set up. It's on top. Oh, there you go. Good on you, Odiser. Oh, hang on. Is that low or iodizer? Iodizer. I didn't know if it was an L or an I. That's all right. Um, yeah, is that the, the guy with the beard? I've forgotten his name. I met him at... Um, I met him at the, the Lost Trades. Got a big beard, about fifth generation Cooper, if that's the chap I'm thinking of. Oh, that's good, Panda. I'm pleased. Thank you for that. We lost three. Oh, perhaps it was their break. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm looking, I'm looking. I can feel the pressure. There is a movement in the force. I can hear a broomstick starting up. No, shush! Don't you shush. Uh, I've been asked to come back tomorrow. Well, you just gather around the, the TV screen or the computer screen. And, and we'll have a special session for everyone out there, John. Mm. Oh, right. L as in front end loader. Oh, loader, loader. Loaderized, loaderized, not either, loaderized. Okay, gotcha. No, you're not, you know, no, because no, we got secret men's business. Don't, don't, don't tell no, not no one, not nothing. Oh, and look at that. Three minutes past. Oh, loaderizer, load, <laughs> I got it once. Loaderized, loaderized, that's it. Is that it? Loaderized. Okay. Oh, I've finished on a high. Look, this is what I was playing with this morning, um, which I want to incorporate into the sides of the cabinet. So I've got to perfect it. I don't know what shapes I'll do or what, whatever. But it's seven leaves. And you see a lot of things, there are eight leaves and six leaves and sometimes five. I did originally have it down as a five leaf, but I think I'll go seven leaf because it's different. So I'll play with that during the day and we'll see what I come up with. But before my beloved, dear, wonderful, darling, sweet, you're listening, Trevor, sweet, wonderful wife comes down and kicks me, I'd better say, this is Steve, pulling the shed door down on another street. What are we up to? Must be 20, 26, 27, I don't know. We should have a party when we hit 30. <laughs> there you go. I'm for it. I'm, I'll, I'll be there. But thank you all for your company again today. Thanks for the mods. Prunella, my dear, I hope you're feeling better. And, um, yeah, you get through this bad period you're in. John, thanks for bringing half a Canada to us. Oh, that's absolutely marvellous. Panda, thanks for the feedback. Murray, thanks for the feedback. 
Obviously, Ray, I don't have your purple and red carpet, purple and gold carpet, but you're an integral part of the stream, my friend, as to you, Trevor and Brian and Ian and Jared and whoever else I've got, all of them. Eric, Tempest Brewer, that's it. So 28 tomorrow. For 28s tomorrow. There you go. All right, this is Steve pulling the shed door there and saying thank you one and all. It's been an absolute hoot, as usual. But I'm pulling the shed door down and saying remember to keep it sharp. But more importantly, keep it safe, look after yourself, be kind to each other, resist that urge to lash out. <laughs> because some people do deserve it, but it ain't up to you to give it to them. And just be safe, be kind, care about one another. And I'll catch you in the workshop tomorrow at the workbench at the same time, quarter 10-ish. It's, it's creeping up towards 10, but everyone seems to get in at 10. But I'll, I'll aim for quarter to 10 tomorrow. Till then, stay safe. God bless you. Thank you, one and all. Oh, and if you like it and you haven't done it before, please hit the subscribe button. Bye for now.